Oh, you are ready, pretty girl. Kona bears. Kona's life jacket. Life jacket. We are on a flats boat. Like I'm already having like fish brain to make it for dinner tonight. That sounds delicious. And if you'll notice, it's a single engine. She does not get her life jacket unless she's going swimming. The hat. Oh yes, whoa, crazy. And Kona can sit here. And Kona can sit here. This video is brought to you by Undoes It. Hey everyone, welcome to video number two in Chub K. We figured before we go and go fishing and do more adventure style videos, we would take a minute and go through a boat tour for you. So our boat tour videos, you guys always love them and this is a unique boat. So we figured it'd be a great way to start the morning. I don't know if you can tell it's morning. It is like it's eight o'clock in the morning. There's the sun kind of washing out the lens right now. And let's say, let's get this video going. All right, my name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera, this is Kona, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. on a flats boat. Now, you guys are used to seeing us on our 32 Intrepid, and if we are on other boats, they're most likely larger center consoles. Like, I know you've seen... Our Invincible boat tour? Our, oh, yes, our yes. Regulator boat our tour? regulator boat tour, our Invincible... In, I almost said Invincible later. Our Invincible boat tour, our regulator boat tour. Our Intrepid? Our Intrepid. So, mostly that 30-ish plus. Si plus size range center console. Okay. It's the morning and I feel like I'm already having like fish brain. Squid brain. So, squid brain. For the sake of this conversation, we're on a 20 foot egret. Let's start with the bow and we will work our way backwards. The very first thing I will say that I noticed when I stepped on this boat, granted I haven't been on a lot of flats boats, so I don't know how to compare that well, but was the storage. I was not expecting this much storage for a flats boat. The very first hatch, which is typical on pretty much every boat I've ever been on, is usually gonna be where the anchor is kept. So let's check this out. We've got our anchor locker right here. You can see our line is there. Our anchor's already out. We have a case of water, life jackets, and I will say I was impressed with how deep this anchor locker was. Now, the next two hatches I am currently sitting on, but before we get any further into this video, we wanna thank our sponsor of this video, Undoes It. You guys saw that nice sized zero mackerel that we brought onto the deck and you saw him hit the deck like crazy and that slime from that fish got all inside that non-skid deck. Now non-skid deck is great because you don't slip, however the dirt and grime can, and fish blood and fish slime can really get in there and get between that non-skid deck surface. That is why when we get all that fish slime on that non-skid deck we go and grab our undoes it non-skid deck cleaner because it will clean away the dirt, the grime, and the fish slime. Plus, the Undoes It non-skid deck cleaner gets to work immediately with its chelating agent to loosen up all that fish slime. Don't forget to click the link in the description box to get your Undoes It products. So this next set of hatches is kind of cool if you want to look in here. I'm going to open up one side. Yeah. This is the life jacket, life jacket side hatch. But if you look, four, oh yes. wait. this there here is Kona Bear's Kona's life jacket. Life jacket. Kona is hanging out on the seat having a great time but she knows she does not get her life jacket unless she's going swimming. That kind of happened naturally when we would put her life jacket on she would go swimming and when I would put it on she would start to get really excited and want to jump off the boat so we kind of decided that she only gets her life jacket when she's allowed to go in the water because the last thing we want is her flying into the water when you know there's chum out or bait out or who knows. But Amanda let's take a look put the camera down here and you can see how the other hatch is like within the hatch. Oh yes, whoa, crazy. The reason why it's a hatch within a hatch is actually because this is a live well. Here's our live well, but for today's purposes, it is actually just filled with ice and, and chum, chum, and that is our filleted cereal mackerel right there in the bag. Haven't exactly decided what we're doing with it yet, how we're gonna cook it. What are we doing with the cereal? I don't know, maybe we should make it for dinner tonight. That sounds delicious. It also, another fun fact guys, cereal makes really good sushi. Our next set of hatches is going to be on both the port and starboard side of the boat. We have rod storage. So if you check this out, 
This is really cool for when you are on a small boat and you have a lot of rods, but when you have a smaller boat, guys, at the end of the day, you can't have 20 rod holders. I think we have six, seven, eight, we have 10, which is actually, it's actually a lot. But with this, as besides the point, you clearly have extra rod storage. Earlier we were keeping our gaff in there because we weren't currently needing it. Now it's out, but it's a good way to have extra rod storage without taking up too much space. This here is the port side rod storage, and you can see in this case, we got some dip nets in here, which is great because like I said, guys, they would take up a lot of space if they were out and about. So it's a great way to put things to the side. And it's pretty deep. So if you needed to put some backpacks down there, maybe do one side for rod, one side for bags, totally works for that too. The next location would be the helm station. And you guys can clearly see we have rods. So we have three rod holders. We got three right there, one, two, three, plus a cup holder right there. That's actually my Koya with my the protein shake. The protein shake. And three more rod holders right here, plus a de-hooker and a pair of scissors. Of course, the Gale Force rods had to come with. Yes, Gale Force rods, we brought them. We put them on the plane because we flew over here and we brought them with us. Something cool about this helm station, I guess you could call them the handles. Amanda, would you pan to the handles? Yes, right here, super comfortable, great way to get in. And my favorite thing, oh, well, it's actually turned into our GoPro holder. <laughs> and we got wheel, nice GPS, compass, we even have trim tabs trim on this tabs. boat, radio. Yep, you'll notice it's a single engine. Yes. Here we have the seat where it's, you can tell, okay, first of all, I like it when seats are bench seats and they're long because then you can fit people side by side very easily. And Kona can sit here. And Kona can sit here. So, fun fact, this seat does open up, so we're gonna have to ask Kona to move so we can get under there. Yes, we got to move you. The super cool part is this entire seat lifts up. Let's check it out. Let's open it up. Give it a big open. Yes. You guys can see on the left side, we got our tackle. There's a first aid kit down there. The batteries are there along underneath my backpacks right there. And we even have room for Emily's backpack. And that is a um, belly hoop, a chum ring, some boat soap. Our undusted boat soaps are there. There's one undusted boat soap. And the other one is down there as well. Pull that out, Emily. There we go. So tons of space down here. Makes for a great little fishing boat. Working our way to the back, we have the polling platform. So if we wanted to go bone fishing or any type of flats fishing, really, that's where the polling platform will come in handy. It's got this cool little step here. I think that's pretty cool. This here is a live well and so is this one. Let's we'll open this up for you guys to see it. We're actually using it as um, our fish, box, our fish today. box today with some ice clear. There's tons of ice in there. And this is one live well and it's a huge live well. And there's a second one right here. And here we've got our second live well. So tons of live well space, and there's one rod holder with the gas right there. The second rod holder, or there's another one right here. And the polling platform has two rod holders. We got one on this side and one on the other side. Hope you guys enjoyed a nice little change of pace with a small flat boat boat tour. We are now gonna go fishing, so we'll see you guys in our next video. But in the meantime, we want you guys to get out there, have, have fun, fun, and stay, stay safe. safe.